Hey guys! Ready for today's show? We ready! Awesome. Well, I'm so excited for this uh, recipe today. It's Mesopotamian barley bread. Ooh, that's It's going to be delicious good. and it's perfect for our International Cuisine Week. And I'm really excited to share this with our audience. So, okay. Let me give that to you, Paula. All right. Let's look at this so real quick. Mm -hmm. Places, everybody. Places. Yeah. Places. Okay. We're on in five, four, three. Hey, y'all. I'm Paula Dean, and we're live from the Food Network in Savannah, Georgia. This is my son, Bobby, and he's going to be helping me today. Please excuse him. He got a little too tan at the beach this summer. <laughs> you know. Okay. Well, today, we're going to be bringing you International Cuisine Week, and we've got Mesopotamian barley bread. Don't that sound delicious? Oh, it sounds delicious. Okay. Well, let's get started, Bobby. Okay. Well, first, what we need to do is we need to take two cups of wheat, and we're going to put it in our pot here. All right. What else we need, Bobby? We need now some barley. Barley, okay. Mm -hmm. We need about, no, this is the barley right here. Oh, there we it is. need all of this barley. It's already pre measured. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Then what we about need, some beans? We need some beans. We got to have about a tablespoon of beans. Yeah. Or you can just guesstimate. Okay. And then we need lentils. Oh, I love lentils. I love lentils. This mm, gives it the flavor. Yeah. You know, Bob. Uh -huh. We love some lentils down in the south. Okay. And then we've got some millet. Yeah. All right. This is going to be good. I can already tell. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then we need some spelt. Yes. This is going to make it all come together, Bobby. You know? All right. Here we go. We need to stir it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get it all nice and mixed up. All yeah. right. After you stir it, then we need to cook it on 350 degrees over human, human feces. Is this a typo? Is this April Fool's Day? Is this April 1st? I mean, human feces, really? That's unclean, Bobby. That is unsanitary. I will not have no human feces on my... I've got a substitute here. This is cow dung, but it will work just the same. It'll be perfect. Cow dung. Yes. Cow dung. I guess it's a little bit better than human dung, but okay. Well, we're just going to roll with it because that's how we do it down here in Georgia. So go ahead and light that on fire. Yes, it takes a little bit to get mm. around that dung. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, there it is. We need to cook this over the dung for about 15 minutes. Make sure it gets all nice and done. There we go. And then, when you're all finished, your finished product will look something like this. Here you go, Bobby. We're going to break bread together today. Oh, yeah. All mm. right. This looks pretty tasty. I don't Whoa. It might be better than the Babylonian exile. I don't know. Well, happy exile. Happy exile. 